All right, uh, I'm probably not the first on YouTube to review this, but this is my Atari joystick game thing. Yeah, I got this in 2000, uh, it was made by Jack Pacific, came out in 2002. I think I got it maybe a few years after that. So it's this joystick, it has this very long cord that comes with it. Not stereo, not HDMI, just you know your video and audio uh, output for it. So when you boot it up, I'm just gonna reset it. You're greeted with the Atari logo, Jack Pacific. Obviously when I was trying to put this through the video sender, it was very staticky, but this is directly to the TV now. So there's adventure. You just gotta hit start, select your game, hit start. And here's adventure. I'm not a fan of that game. There's asteroids, there's breakout. Playing breakout with this, I'd much rather play it with a um, paddle controller. Same with Pong, I'd much rather play that with a paddle controller. There's Volleyball. Yars Revenge is probably my favorite game on this, cause, uh, and then there's Asteroids. There's Circus Atari, but also that was another game that was a paddle game. Yeah, there's Missile Command, that was a good game. Gravatar was an, actually a game I never had for the Atari, but I really like that game. I'm gonna go into that one. Cause I, I don't know, is it like, it almost has that feel of computer space. So, sort of has that computer space feel to it. I just blew up. So you just fly away from the gravity, that uh, star, and then you get sucked into, and I, I like, the thing I like about this game is, you get sucked into the gravity fields of these planets here. I'm just not a fan of the paddle, like the responsiveness of this is not as good. Like, I'd rather be playing this on a paddle. So we start, go into the games. Now, I don't know if you can hear the audio very good on A lot of people's complaints on this game was that the sound was not like the original Atari. It definitely had like more of a, a different sound to it. And I think this was like one of the first games that I actually played on Atari. Well, like when we got an Atari, I, I did go to a friend's house and we played, um, a friend had a, the Empire Strikes Back and other games. I remember playing Cabbage Patch Kids on a ColecoVision. But I don't remember uh, playing, I, when we got an Atari in like ni Christmas 1985 on clearance. <laughs> um, this is the first game I remember playing when we actually got one for our own home. People are like, yeah, Nintendo came out in 1985, but not, I don't think it was out everywhere in 1985. And I just remember getting, my family got this because, well, like the game, the games you buy, like, I don't know, like five for like a couple dollars or something at that time. Stores are just trying to get rid of their Atari. So a lot of people had them back then. I, I just remember a lot of people getting Ataris because they were so cheap. And then when, uh, a few years later at the flea markets, I could buy Atari carts. I don't know if they've gone up now, but back in the 80s when I would go, you know, when everyone was playing Nintendo and I was still playing Atari, um, I could get carts for like 25 cents at the uh, at flea markets. I don't. Yeah. Well, please follow me on Twitter at RobbieStrike3 and uh, follow me on Facebook at RobbieStrikeVideos and right here on YouTube at AutoOctane and please subscribe uh, to help this channel to gr keep growing and I definitely I, I give a big thank you out there to all the friends and supporters who subscribe to my channel to give me that 1k that I need to continue to monetize this channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. And I hope YouTube doesn't pull anything else to throw any other hurdles across the small channels like mine. Um, so uh, just a big thank you for all you out there that have helped with that. And if you're on Twitter, uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, share those videos uh, with uh, all your fo other followers and we'll help each other grow because this is a, we have great content here about satellite and getting free stuff and 
old technology. So please share with all your friends. If it's helped you out, maybe throw that, uh, help me out just a bit by sharing the videos and helping it get out there on the internet. So have a great day and thank you very much. Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free to air satellite reception. Mm -hmm.